featuring Frono's photo. Dot com and for the last few hours I've had almost 200 people request that I give my opinion on Reuters basically saying they don't want raw files submitted anymore, they just want JPEGs sent in. Now the link that people were sending me was primarily to Petapixel's article, and Petapixel's article says this as the title, Reuters issues a worldwide ban on raw photos. Now do they actually issue a worldwide ban on raw photos? That is to be determined by the sentences and paragraphs below. Now this comes from the picture editor. This is a quote from the Reuters picture editor. Hi, I'd like to pass on a note of request to our freelance contributors due to a worldwide policy change. In future, please don't send photos to Reuters that were processed from raw or CR2 files. If you want to shoot raw images, that's fine. I, I'll, I'll add no pun intended, uh, or maybe it was. Just take JPEGs at the same time. Only send us the photos that were originally JPEGs with minimal processing, in parentheses, cropping, correcting levels, etc. and it ends with cheers, end quote. Now let's, let's take a step up for one second. They're not banning raw files. They're saying if you want to shoot raw files, that's fine, but also take JPEGs and only send us the JPEGs. So they are saying they don't want the raw files for multiple reasons that we'll get to in just a second, but I don't understand here. They say they want JPEGs with minimal processing. Well, if you're going to process anything, why don't you process the freaking raw file? It doesn't take that long to do, and you're starting with a better quality image than a compressed JPEG to begin with. And yes, JPEGs are fantastic straight out of the camera. They're smaller, they're easier to transmit, the, and they're just much quicker to do. But you have to know that when you take a picture in JPEG, you are processing it in the camera based off of what your picture style settings are. If you make them flat, is that really a, truly, a true representation of the scene? Or if you make it vivid, is that a true representation of the scene? Or are you better off with the raw file and then tweaking that to look more like the scene that you were in. So that's questionable. I understand why they want to get JPEGs because it's quicker, but then to say something like you minimal cropping and all that crap is, is kind of weird. So let's go on here. This comes directly from Petapixel. A Reuters spokesperson has confirmed this policy change with Petapixel and says that the decision was made to increase both eth ethics and speed. I understand the speed. You want to deliver the photos as quick as possible because news moves. You want to get your photos out before the social media people just snap in pictures with their iPhones, send them around the world. I get that. But the ethics of it, we're going to have to keep reading to see what they mean about that. So here's a quote. As photojournalists working for the world's largest international multimedia news provider, Reuters Pictures photographers work in line with our photographer's handbook and the Thomas Reuters Trust Principles, Reuters says. Uh, as eyewitness accounts of events covered by dedicated and responsible journalists, Reuters pictures must reflect reality. While we aim for photography of the highest aesthetic quality, our goal is not to artistically interpret the news. That's awfully interesting that you're not... So as photographers, we have the ability to manipulate almost any image that we want or any image that we take in the camera. And what, I, what do I mean by manipulate? I mean something as simple as changing the level that we're shooting at, shooting from a higher or lower level, and a different angle, taking a step to the right, a step to the left, or cutting something out of the image, not later, but co cropping it out when you're shooting it, leaving something out of the frame. Now, ethically, as a photographer, you want to show the scene as it was with all of the important information there. But we have the ability to have somebody look in a negative light. Or we also have the ability to make them look in a positive light, as simple as just moving something in the way that we shoot the image. Now, ethically speaking, as a photographer, you want to, if that's a news photographer, you want to show the scene exactly as it was with the most reality. I get that. But saying that you just want JPEGs to do that for ethical reasons and you don't want them editing raw files is not really, it doesn't make sense. Speed makes sense, but here's what you have to look at. If a photographer is going to do something unethical and you catch, you catch them doing that, then you fire their ass and you go from there. It's our ability, you know, we're photographers, we have to uphold to our own standards. Now, you should uphold to the highest standards possible. Ethically, 
You shouldn't show something that isn't there, and you shouldn't you shouldn't change something that is there. So keep that in mind. Here's another uh, another quote. Speed is also very important to us. We have therefore asked our photographers to skip labor and time consuming processes to get our pictures to our clients faster. Um, I don't believe that either. It does not take a long time to tweak a raw file. Just something as simple as the contrast, a little bit of clarity, maybe the white balance to get it closer to what the scene was, for news photos, you shouldn't spend a terribly too much time editing an image. Now, I get it. They want the file quick. Send them the JPEG. That's great. Again, they're not banning raw files. They're saying take the raw files, but also take JPEGs. So you still have it. But I don't buy into this thing that it's laborious to edit this. I want to edit the files. I want to edit my photos in my style. It's like when they took film images, they processed the negatives, and then they printed them, or they scanned them, and they didn't just do flat images and send them out into the world. They did some tweaking to them. Now, of course, it's unethical to take something out of an image, to Photoshop an image, to clone stuff out of it. That's terrible. But wouldn't you still want the raw file instead of a JPEG? Don't you want the raw file? That is almost, I mean, Yes, you can still make tweaks and changes to those things, but if you start back at the original RAW file, you can go back to the basic image and see where the changes were made or weren't made. So, that's my opinion. Did I even give an opinion? Yeah, here. It's Reuters' choice, it's their business, but they're not saying don't shoot RAW files. They're saying, if you want to shoot raw files, shoot raw files, but send us the JPEGs. I don't agree with the ethical standpoint of what they're saying. I don't agree that they're saying that do minimum tweaks to the JPEGs, because if you're going to make tweaks, you might as well tweak the raw freaking file anyway. So I don't know if people are, are getting bent out of shape because they're just reading a headline that Petapixel wrote that says banning raw photos, and that's why I got so many messages. But if you read the quote, they're not banning it. They're just requesting that you don't send raw files. I get it. I don't agree with it, but it's their, it's their choice. And as photographers, we can, I mean, I would always shoot the raw files. If they asked for the JPEGs, I probably wouldn't work for them, but that's me. I'm not, I'm not a news photographer. I'm not in that situation. So my opinion is, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really agree with it. I wish they would understand that the raw files are more important but for them to get it out, it's more about speed and not the long-term nature of the photos. They just want stuff that's shot and newsworthy. Get it out into the world now because guess what? It's forgotten tomorrow. But hopefully if something's captured that's Pulitzer Prize winning or an amazing image, hopefully the photographer takes the raw file and they can have the best quality from that. So that's what I'll leave it. What do you guys think about this uh, from Reuters? Leave your comments down below. Jared Polin, Photo.com. See ya.